Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Cutting My Way In. And yes, I know you're probably Izzy. I thought we were moving on from Shatter. I promise we are done. The thing is, I noticed after the last Cutting My Way In that I forgot on the README to add the authentication method. So I added everything. I added the key features, how to install them, the packages, how the database works. And then I forgot a crucial part of the application, which is how was the authentication method done? So now we have the credential base auth, how it works, the session management, the session provider, everything you need to know on how the authentication method was created for this application. Now we have it. So now we're officially done. Like you guys know, I finished a TypeScript course and I wanted to keep building on top of it. So I found this tutorial, which is making a Google Drive clone and is using Next.js, React, Tailwind and TypeScript, which is what I'm learning. And on top of that, is using a bunch of technologies and methods that I've never used before. So as you can see here, I'm only 32 minutes into this crash course. It's been so much material and concepts and technologies for me to learn that it has taken me some time to really go over it. So I've learned about the continuous integration, about single store, which is a database where you add the lead information but this one also has the power for analytics so you got to do a lot of heavy base queries is a great tool to use and then this is a, a relational database like a postgres sql to an extent and it uses sql as a language however this tutorial is using drizzle orm which i've never used or heard of in my life and it's basically like a translator for sql so you essentially just write your code and through Drizzle, it translates your code to SQL, which communicates to the single store database. So you can write and connect to the database using SQL, but Drizzle creates like this bridge. So you don't necessarily have to use SQL. You just write your code and it translates it into single store, which is phenomenal. And I'm learning about the concept of, of Zod and what is used for, which is something that I've never heard of. In the process, I learned about the T3 stack. I've heard of it before. I thought it was an application, but then I come to find out that no, it's not an application. It's just a way of building stuff. So it's amazing. Like you run a package and you get things already installed under the hood. Next.js, TypeScript, TRPC, Tailwind. And we're not using Next Auth. We're going to use Clark and we're not using Prisma. We are using Drizzle. But one package, you get all of these things under the hood. And I didn't even know that was possible because in my projects, I've installed everything manually. So I install Next.js and then I have to install Tailwind and you get the point. So it's insane that with one command, I'm able to get this template and I can start working right away, which is amazing and such a great thing. The other thing is I'm using Gemini to guide me in terms of the concepts that I keep coming across. I tell people don't copy and paste from AI use it as a mentor so as you can see here I'm asking questions what does this does and if I'm not too sure I, I'm, I ask for confirmation and it's just good that I can bounce ideas around and it just helps me understand so um, today I've really focused on theory on making sure I understood every concept because I didn't want to keep going knowing that I was struggling with all of these technologies that I never heard before so today I've really focused on and not only know the concepts but understand what do they do so as you guys learned last week i'm reading this book the software engineers guidebook It's mostly software engineer psychology so it's a great book i recommend it i'm already halfway and last thing but not least it finally starts the dallas software developers group the cohort starts on monday the 17th and i'm very excited i can't wait to meet who's going to be my team lead. I can't wait to meet the people that are going to be part of the group that I'm going to be in. And man, I can't, I can't wait to finally work with a group because ever since I started, you guys know I've done this on my own. So I study on my own, build my own projects. So it's going to be a phenomenal experience of me finally being able to work in a group. So I'm very excited. And just like always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.